This has been an amazing week that we've had the races we've had because the forecast has been light. We get out there and the race committee honestly has been dynamite at finding the, the conditions to get us around the course. And you know, we've all got liabilities out here racing these big ships, but we, we like our chances. We've got to beat a boat that we don't really see on the race course. So uh, it's all about just us controlling the things we can control and not getting too close to the super maxis that give us a bit of bad air. So honestly, the, the plate's full, even though there's only five boats in our class. It's going to be a great day. Okay, guys on the dock now. For sure, there's a bit of pressure on here in Saudade because we, uh, we're leading at the moment, we're even points, so it's basically a really open game between us and Ganesha. I think it's going to come down to, uh, first of all, you need to na nail the start, get that first shift right, but I think the infight between the boats, because we, we have to pass them, and that is really the critical part of the race. How do we pass them? If we do it late in the race, we're going to lose. If we do it early and efficient, we're going to win. With tricky conditions adding to the tension, racing got underway. But the dying breeze forced the race committee to stop the action and send the fleet home. The results from the week's racing stand. In Class A, Sadadi and Ganesha have been match racing their way around the course this week. But it was Sadadi who just had the edge to claim the event victory. My song remain unbeaten this week. A clean scorecard gives them the Class B overall win. A similar story in Class C. Three wins for Grandi Orazio. An impressive week of sailing for the Italian team. The week was fantastic. Really fantastic, especially for us. We like these uh, conditions, like light wind and not, not as strong, so it was uh, perfect for us. It means a lot for me because we tried it so often. We won one or two races, but not the week, and that, <laughs> that is the first time, so we are very, very happy. This city is, of course, a big relief. It wasn't an easy walk. It wasn't a walk in the park. It was, it was very stressful, very hectic, and, uh, but that makes this victory so much more special because it was it was really a big fight till the end. I feel uh, uh, emotional. This week in the Porto Cerbo is a beautiful week. It's uh, very very hot and uh, not too much wind, but uh, is uh, the atmosphere is uh, exceptional. Now you have the win and after total perfect. I'm very glad. What a week. Stunning yacht, spectacular scenery and really close, tight racing. To win here this week required faultless sailing. And one yacht did just that. They made it count when it mattered most. And that was to Daddy.